Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In today's DIY video, we're going to be showing a sample installation of a Dynan engine management performance chip on an earlier BMW. Now, these chips are available for most BMW models from 1984 through early 1995. There are a few exceptions, and that would be those that have soldered in chips or models produced from December of 94 or later due to the EWS security system. Now these chips are available in our online store at bavauto.com and they're actually one of the best horsepower to dollar buys you can make on these earlier BMWs. Now let's go ahead and check out a sample installation on our 1990 325i. First we open the glove box. The ECU is located above this plastic trim panel. Lower the glove box by releasing the securing pins on the left and right retention straps. Push the end of the pin to dislodge the locking tabs and pull the pin out. Lower the glove box to the floor. The trim panel can now be removed. Remove the two Phillips head screws and the two quarter turn fasteners. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws. Turn the plastic fasteners one quarter turn and then pull them out. Release the locking clip on the ECU harness plug. Angle the plug away from the ECU until the locating tab can be pulled from the socket housing. Remove the ECU mounting bolts. These will typically be 10 millimeter hex head bolts. Okay, we're at the work table with the ECU, the Dynam Performance chip, and the small to medium flat blade screwdriver. Note that when ordering many of the performance chips, you may need to know the ECU number. This is the last three digits of the Bosch part number. This ECU is a remanufactured unit and only shows the last digits. The cover on this ECU is secured by these bent over tabs. We do not remove these screws. If there are no tabs on a given ECU model, the cover will be secured by a few screws. We'll have to remove this warranty seal in order to remove the cover. We now use the flat blade screwdriver to bend up the securing tabs. Work the blade under the tabs to bend them up to a vertical position. Once all the tabs are bent up, the cover can be removed. We now have access to the circuit board. The programming chip is the only chip that is mounted in a socket. Remove the securing clip by prying outward with a small flat blade screwdriver. The chip's contact pins are pressed into the mounting socket. Note the orientation of the alignment mark on the original chip and the socket. The new performance chip will also have an alignment mark. Always install the performance chip with the alignment mark matching the original chip. Use a flat blade screwdriver to carefully pry the chip out of the socket. Insert the blade between the chip and the socket and gently twist the blade 
to lift the chip from the socket. Alternate between the opposing ends of the chip until it's free of the socket. Check the number of pins on each side of the chip. Some applications will have 12 pins per side and some may have 14. Make sure that the performance chip has the same number of pins. Normally, the alignment mark on the socket will match the alignment mark on the chip. However, if the original chip was installed with the marks at opposing ends, install the new chip with the same alignment. To install the new performance chip, align one side of the pins with the holes in the socket, then align the opposite row of pins. Gently press the chip's pins into the socket. Install the chip securing clip. The cover can now be installed. Bend the cover securing tabs down. Use the butt end of the screwdriver to bend the tabs down. Note that it's not uncommon for a couple of the tabs to break off. This will be okay. The box is now ready to be reinstalled into the vehicle. As you can see, the performance chip install is actually pretty simple and it really can be considered a do-it-yourself job for most BMW owners. So check out our online store at bavauto.com and get your Dynam Performance chip on order today. And as always, you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Well, thanks for watching and we're off to produce another helpful DIY video.